Good morning, dear community, and welcome back to the House of Junshin, day 17. I hope you all watched our first Zoom and Connect yesterday, and Marion and I were talking about uh, creating structure and how important it is to get up every day and start doing things that are important to you because we go through these different stages and phases in this pandemic like the first week everybody was on alert and now we're kind of getting used to the idea so it's really important to accept and adjust and adapt to the situation so that we can let our creativity out and really get projects done that we always wanted to do and so one of the things for me has been that i've been talking to my family a lot more and my aunties in Holland uh, are watching the YouTube videos every day and practicing along with us. They don't all have Facebook, so they go to YouTube. And that's just wonderful. So today I wanted to dedicate to my aunt, Annie, Tante Annie. She's in Amsterdam. And uh, she had a question for me yesterday about how to clear her sinuses and also some seasonal allergies. So this is a great flow because uh, it will also keep your immune system up. And so I welcome you to uh, bye Rex. Uh, I welcome you to send in questions if you have anything that you would like me to cover. I'm happy to share with you a special daily self help per request. All right. So for this one, uh, make yourself comfortable. You can do this lying down, which is always very comfortable, or make yourself comfortable with pillows. So when you lift your arm, that your arm is rested and you don't stress. Place the left hand on SEL 11 and 3. So we know that 3 is the key to the immune system. So we want to make sure that during this time we keep it open. Seasonal allergies are also related uh, to the immune system. When your immune system is not up to speed, we suffer from allergies. Make a ring with the thumb over your ring fingernail. And that helps to open up the lungs. So you're holding 11, 3, 11 and 3 is at the tip of the shoulder blade here, helping the exhale and the inhale. So get into the breath and feel the pulsation come up, come up into your fingertips. Feel SEL3 opening. If there's any tenderness or congestion in there, just by holding it, the energy will spiral all the way to core and back to service and the SEL will open up. SEL3 means exhale because it allows for the exhale in the body so that we can inhale and so it's the cycle of breathing. While this position, the mudra helps to inhale the energy up the back. So inhale and exhale by holding these two points. Right now you'll probably feel a pulsation in the spots. So really tune into that. And it's kind of like a meditation because when you listen to energy, you are in a meditative state. There's nothing much else you can think about when you are listening for the pulsation in your fingertips and listening to the energy move. Now move your left hand to 12 and 4. So you can see if 12 or 4 is more tender, you can go right in the middle. SEL 4 is at the base of the head and SEL 12 is the middle of the neck. So it's area 12, 4. So you can spread out your fingers and touch the 4 and the 12. There should be a nice space between the 4 and the 12. And if they are too close together, we want to open that up. There is a, the, the neck should be long and Philomena has said to me, the longer the neck, the longer the life. So keep your neck open and place your right hand on your 20, right on the very close to the center line. This is where the sinuses are. So SEL 12 clears the mind. And so this is where you want to make sure that your arm is rested. So you can rest it on a pillow or lying back. Keep breathing, keep breathing from the belly and feel the pulsation come up into your fingertips. SEL 12 clears the mind and helps with mental clarity. And in this case, our intention is to clear our sinuses. 
So you go to the side where the sinuses are congested. So in this case, it would be the right side. If it's your left side, then just re reverse the flow. Take a nice deep breath and then slowly move your hand down step by step through the 20 alongside the nose. We're going to move to 21. But when you have sinus projects, you want to clear all the way down between 20 and 21 as well. So you go right up in the sinuses, alongside the nose, and then move to 21. 21 is the bottom, the base of the cheekbone. And again, for sinuses, you go close to the center line. If you have sinus congestion, you will feel it open up by now. So this hold also helps the eyes. So you're helping on many different levels at the same time, which is one of the beauties from Jin Shin Jitsu, is you're crossing so many different levels at the same time. So it's also very much what you set your intention to. So in this hold, you would help your right Eye. 4 helps the opposite eye and 21 helps the same side eye. And feeling your sinus is clear. Now move your right hand to 22, bringing it down out of the face. And 22 helps to adapt, adapt to situations. That's what I was talking about earlier, to accept and adapt and then we can adjust and continue our life and keep learning and growing from this whole experience. So when you touch 22, SEL 22, you want to see where it's tender. So in this case, you stay right on the same line where you've been working down uh, the plumb line of the 20. 21 and 22 to clear the sinuses. So if you're not necessarily clearing the sinuses, you can also be more lateral. So see what feels good for you. Very good. The 22 helps to exhale. And then we go to 13, which helps the uh, immune system. It's at the level of the th uh, thymus gland. Very important to the immune system. And here you're helping the lungs. Whatever helps the lungs helps everything. Lungs are very important for allergies as well and seasonal aller allergies. And then move to 14. Clearing the waistline, calming the mind. Getting our ego out of the way so that we can connect to source. And then we move our right hand to 15 for joy, laughter, and happiness. And that ends this flow. So just give it another few moments to feel the pulsation come up into your fingertips. And I would just like to do the other side quickly. So just as a review, so we'll just move through it. So place your right hand on your left 11-3 and make a ring with the thumb over the ring fingernail for exhaling and inhaling completely. This opens up the lungs. And also in this way, you get the mediator activity going using your left hand because um, balancing from right to left side. And then placing your hand on the 20. Moving now to 21. Twenty-two. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Lola. <laughs> I forgot to move my hand to the uh, eleven four, so I'm gonna go back <laughs> after the first step. You move your right hand to eleven four, and then move to twenty. Twenty-one. 
2022. Now I do want to say, if this happens to you, you probably need to stay on the three and that's probably exactly what I needed. But for, for you to learn the flow incorrectly, this is how it goes. Um, if you think, oh, I did it all wrong, it's probably exactly what you needed. So stay with that since Jinshin is an art and we explore and do what feels good for you. And then we go to 13, 14, and 15. And just stay here for a moment. And people ask me, do I have to do both sides? And the answer is that you can do one side. If you do the right side, it will help automatically the left side as well. But you can also do both sides. So you're welcome again to explore with that. And some days you'll want to do both sides of the flow and other days you may want to do one side of the flow. We're going to end it this with a main center source, a quickie. So we'll just do one hold and you can choose whichever one feels good to you. I'm going to do this one, placing the left hand on the middle of the sternum, which helps to bring the energy down. The left hand moves the energy down and place the right hand on T1. So this is a quick hold for the main center source. And then move your left hand to the pubic bone. Very good. And so we're going to hold the fours just to clear the chest line one more time. SEL4, the bridge which connects us to spirit from our individual body, from matter to spirit. The bridge. The right four allows for the energy of the body and the right hip and the left four allows for the body to flow into the head. They both flow into the head but if somebody is fainting and have so many fun stories about fainting you want to make sure that the left four is open. So the fours are very important to end your session, that the fours are always open. So I thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful day and please give us some ideas what you would like me to talk about. I'm happy also to come up with ideas, which is fine, but uh, we'll keep exploring and uh, have a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow.